This tutorial will teach you how to enhance an existing HDRI map to improve its lighting effect. Before completing this tutorial, make sure you have completed tutorial 1 and 2. Open the tutorial scene provided. Start viewport rendering with cycles. The camera background has shown a backplate image that was shot at the same location as the HDR RI map we're going to load and edit. Start HDR Light Studio. Your interface should look something like this. Press the play button on the render view and press the import button. The blender scene will load into the render view. Delete the gradient background light. Use the toolbar button to create a picture background light. I'm going to load the existing HDRI map onto this light. On the content section of the light properties, press the folder icon next to the image field to find and load the HDRI map. Then press open. A pop-up panel will prompt you to convert the image. Press the convert button. Press the save button and the conversion will begin. Once the conversion is complete, the file is now loaded as the texture on the light. The HDRI map file will be converted to a mipmapped and tiled version, which makes it far more efficient for HDR Light Studio to work with. For example, if you converted a huge HDRI map into this format, even though the conversion would take some minutes the first time, thereafter the file will load in seconds and HDR Light Studio will remain very responsive when using it. The file automatically has the same location and file name with a TX suffix. Increase the brightness of the lights to 400. Rotates the HDRI map by adjusting the longitude to around 86. You can see in the HDR Light Studio render view that the blue and yellow trailer is in about the right position and the big lock wall is on the right of the shot. Even though the HDRI map is now lighting the shot and matches the backplate's image orientation, the results are not great at the moment. We're going to use the HDRI map as a base and make some improvements to it. The first problem is that the HDRI map is lighting the tires too much from underneath. Create a gradient background light from the toolbar. Change the brightness to 100 and the blend mode to multiply. On the value ramp for the gradient, Double click on the ramp to add two more pegs and make the right side values of the ramp to be approximately 0.1 and the values on the left to be 1. The ramp should look like this. The gradient multiplied into the HDRI map and has nicely darkened the lower part of the HDRI map and the tyres now look much better. Looking at the floor shadow, it looks like an overcast day with a very soft shadow. But if we explore the HDRI map on the canvas by clicking, holding and dragging on the exposure button, we can see that it's a clear day with a bright crisp sun. The soft shadow is caused by the sun not being bright enough on the HDRI map. It has probably been clipped when the image was photographically captured. This is a common issue and has actually been fixed on the final HDRI map you can purchase from Apex Automotive. Let's fix this issue and boost the sun brightness. Make a round light from the toolbar. Change the blend mode to amplify. Position the light centered over the top of the sun. Zoom into the canvas if you need to, to place it accurately. Scale the light until it fits over the sun. A size of 2 by 2 is a good size. 
increase the brightness of the light until you feel the sun looks bright enough. Values for lights can be higher than the end of the slider. You can keep pressing the plus button to increase the value. We ended up with a value of 3200. You can see in the blender render the floor shadow is now much better. The sky in the HDRI map is nice and blue, but it's not looking very blue in the reflections of the car. Let's increase the saturation of the sky to get more blue into the car. Make a round light, change the blend mode to saturation, place the light at the top of the HDRI map. Change the size to 400 by 400. And the brightness to around 25. You can see the sky is now much more saturated. Now for some creative additions to the lighting to shape the light and make the car come alive. We can get away with adding lights because the viewer has no idea what is out of the shot. There could be additional lighting and reflections coming from the environment. As long as the car looks well integrated into the background, we can get away with creatively enhancing the lighting. Let's add a round light to the right bumper area. Use light paint to place the light on the bumper. Change the blend mode to amplify the brightness to around 1200 and the size to 40 by 40. Next we're going to add a soft box over the car like we did in the studio shot. Filter the preset lights by softbox and drag and drop a medium softbox diffused onto the right side of the windscreen. Enable advanced rotation and choose fixed rotation mode. Increase the brightness to 400. The size looks good as it is. The light looks too clean so we're going to break it up with some lines using Alpha Multiply. Make Alpha Multiply active. The default linear gradient is fine for what we need. In the preset panel, change the type from Lights to Element Value Ramp. Drag and drop the Bumps 5 preset onto the Alpha Ramp name, which turns green as you start dragging. Now change the rotation value to 90 degrees. This looks good. It makes the windscreen and the hood look a bit more interesting. Next we'll make a round light and place it on the left headlight. Scale it to about 15 by 15. Change the blend mode to amplify and increase the brightness to around 3000. This creates a nice set of highlights on the bumper detail. Next we'll make another round light and position it on the grill area. Zoom into the render view so we can place the light more easily. Increase the brightness to around 2500 and change the blend mode to amplify. I'll just reposition the light, now I can see it more clearly. Scale the light down to 12 by 12 as it was too big. We can turn the light on and off to see how much difference it's made.
So finally, one more round light. We're going to place a nice highlight on the right bumper detail too. Pan to the right headlight and position the light with light paint. Change the brightness to around 2000 and change the blend mode to amplify. We'll scale it down to 12 by 12. So now we are happy with the overall lighting design, but we want to boost the brightness of all lights. To do this, we use the trick we showed in the earlier lesson, using a flat background light with blend mode multiply. Increase the brightness to 150, which will make the brightness 150%. So that's it, the lighting is finished. We can solo the original HDRI map and unsolo it to see the difference. The overall lighting is so much better and more dynamic. It brings the car alive and makes the shot look more interesting. Press the HDR button to render the final HDRI map and close HDR Light Studio using the stop button in Blender. You can now render the final image in Blender.